Well, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people are in shock today. The scholars are baffled everywhere. Literally nobody saw this coming. And when I say nobody saw this coming, even me, I did not see this coming. Guys, I don't think you understand what just went down because for a minute, right? Like we have been beefing, we have been beefing, beefing, beefing. Sickers have been beefing. I guess sickers gonna be sickers, okay? But like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Now check this out, right? If so, at this point, yo, Microsoft gotta buy PlayStation, okay? I'm sorry, they gotta, <laughs> they gotta buy PlayStation. Of course, I'm joking around, but the news today is absolutely wild because apparently you got Microsoft out here. They are firing their DEI initiatives. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. I I cannot be making this up, bro. Like this is insanity, okay? Check this out, roll it. Well, it looks like the gaming industry is taking a really interesting turn today. Looks like Microsoft is firing a bunch of people, and they're all DEI related. An entire department, it seems, has been axed by Microsoft after it has been revealed by one of the leads that Woke is just not in anymore. DEI is not as popular or as strong or as smart as it used to be, they say, even though in my opinion it never was smart to begin with, just really vocal. But there is a lot to break down here, and in addition to this, we're going to be talking about the Concord beta, which this weekend I did yeah. play some of it. I played a lot of Overwatch on the- Like, it's absolutely wild, right? Like, you got Microsoft firing their DEI and PlayStation. Listen, I don't have Xbox, I only play on PlayStation, but facts are facts, okay? And now we're seeing a lot of gamers waking up as well and you know gamers coming together sony ponies are coming together xbox andy's are coming together as well and what's true is true right like they're pushing this concord crap and check this out right like they got they got the same energy let me actually show you guys this right like you got they, they got they, they got the same energy ladies and gentlemen they got the same energy right so yeah that, that crap is going down as well <laughs> and they're pushing the concord crap we're gonna actually get down to that as well wait for it past and I felt that this was very akin to Overwatch but in the worst ways and this game is very obviously going to be DOA. Some people are like ah maybe it's not going to be DOA when the real beta comes out or when the actual game releases but I am telling you from the way this game plays and from how many people played it and how little attention it's getting despite the fact that it was a featured game on the state of play. For PlayStation it is yeah. just not looking good for the release hmm. of this woke ESG DEI fueled video game that throws rainbows at you at the launch screen itself. So we're going to be talking about that but yeah. let's read this and, and real quick right like I, 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 I shouldn't be saying this but like listen guys it's not about like PlayStation good, PlayStation bad or xbox good or xbox bad it just simply put right like xbox has been doing this playstation has been doing it the bigger the company is they're they try to push it the hardest right but what i mean by hardest uh, pushing what hardest uh, the woke stuff the dei crap like the woke politics I identity politics in our games right now y you know what i mean right making the female characters be ugly and all that right so yeah a absolutely so p gamers had enough people in general had enough and Microsoft today, they, they ask an entire DEI team, just wild stuff, a whole lot of crazy stuff going on, man. Wait story from it. that park place and i appreciate the fact that they have consolidated so much information for me to share with you today so report microsoft acts as an entire dei team claiming dei programs everywhere are no longer business critical or smart as they were in 2020. a new report claims that microsoft has eliminated an entire diversity equity and inclusion team with a manager claiming dei programs everywhere are no longer business critical or smart as they were in 2020. so this was a memo that was sent out in thousands of emails by this lead informing everybody that they were fired so this new report comes from business insiders Holy. ashley stewart i actually tried to go to the business insider article but i do not feel like paying one dollar or even fifty dollars to read news that should be shared with us all anyway so never mind there anyway I man i can go to china right now i can get the entire thing for free dog like come on man y'all need to make it for free bro like why i don't like a buck like that that's expensive, bro. A dollar a month, that's expensive, bro. After Microsoft laid off an internal team focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion, a team leader blasted the company for a lack of investment in these efforts. The email from the manager stated in part, quote, true systems change work associated with DEI programs everywhere are no longer business critical or smart as they were in 2020. So they're basically saying this used to work, but since we're restructuring and budget cutting here and there and eliminating departments and redistributing employees across other departments, DEI is just not doing so well. But what does this tell me that they're firing a whole bunch of people? Well, when they say internal DEI team, all I can think of is external DEI teams. You have to remember that Microsoft did say that they were going to enforce new guidelines and i'm pretty sure that they've been doing that for some time now make their female characters look as androgynous and mm. ugly as possible to yeah I, I do remember that and we did cover this we, we definitely memed on it and i'm glad that people also memed on them and clowned on them because like listen man i, I will tell you this gamers are the most great forward species ever Bruh. yeah absolutely they are but gamers are also like hey they, they would hate on a game sometimes for a right reason sometimes not for a right reason and whether they hate the game or not, they will still go ahead and buy it. You know? <laughs> in, in most cases. Now, of course, if the game is really, really trash, then absolutely they're not gonna buy it, right? Uh, and we got, like, Lara Croft being strong, independent, and this is the type of gameplay that we cannot be showing on YouTube, so we're gonna just skip around a little bit, man. Goddamn! But here's the thing, though, right? 
what we're seeing is is true because recently you know um, xbox did say that we need to uplify the female characters they really did do uh, did say that and we have memed on them we have clowned on them a, a lot of the xbox andy's also the blind xbox fanboys cl uh, clowned on it uh, the sony ponies were clowning on them <laughs> uh, absolutely but what i mean is that everybody came together all the gamers from all walks of life came together talked about it and guess what N changes are coming changes are coming don don demarco we need that and, and now i need like the sony ponies i need the xbox andies i need all the gamers to clown on like the concord game all right like uh sickers are, i mean sickers are already clowning on the game but we definitely need to not i guess clowning on the game that's like such an internet like word here in uh, generally speaking i mean like not no disrespect to the devs out there like on a on a human level but like th this this pile of crap that they're working on it's a pile of crap Let, let's be real right like we don't want that this is absolutely trash and uh, I, I think gamers should let them know and uh, uh what with your wallets boys what with your wallets this, this game is gonna be like what 40 bucks and if you don't like it don't buy it if you like it i mean go for it like i'm not uh, anybody to tell you what to uh what you should do with your money but what i'm seeing right now on the internet is that like yeah people are not down with it and if this game somehow turns out to be the best seller of all time then i'm gonna lose all hope in, in gamers after that okay because everybody nowadays or not nowadays but everybody right now is saying that this is not what we want so let's see what happens with the concord game because the numbers are in and they're not looking good for sure but if somehow this game sells man that's gonna be crazy bro then we're gonna keep on seeing games like that so we definitely need people voting with their wallets and if this game flops which uh, feels like that it's gonna flop it's gonna be good for the industry guys it's gonna be really really good for the industry because right now xbox is seeing a lot of the the pushback against it they're not seeing money coming in like tsunami right microsoft is but xbox is not and they want to see money coming in like tsunami okay it, it, it's all about money talks bull squash walks ladies and gentlemen that's what it comes down to man defeat the male gaze to follow dei policies that they have they've said many times in the past that they have a goal towards making dei a normalized thing in video games i don't know exactly what it means for them to fire their internal dei team does that mean that they're going to start hiring externally does that mean they're going to hire people outside of the company in order to contract with them there are a lot of possibilities as a result of these actions by microsoft but it yeah. says that the report also noted the team was eliminated because of changing business needs as of july 1st so that's really interesting right there changing business needs maybe they don't see dei as profitable anymore but we have to read a little bit more despite the team being scrapped microsoft spokesman jeff jones did commit the company to diversity and inclusion moving forward quote our dni commitments remain unchanged sure they do i'm sure you see no financial failure in your potential dei future absolutely not everything's fine nothing and here's the thing right like we're all viewing this as a w that they're firing the dei the activists the, because we we just want like gamers actual game game devs gamers make our games because like i don't want to see them constantly scream gamers are not the target audience for games right because yeah these suckers have been saying that gamers are not the target audience for games what you suck it's crazy you suck it's crazy you, you feel what i'm saying right like dang homie so we're all viewing this as a w because it's a w but what if they hired two times more the dei two times more the activist devs <laughs> in the future so we don't know so far it's a w though so far it's a w okay Let, let's keep a buck 50 like the video if you think that's a w man shout out, uh, shout out to you for subscribing gang gang appreciate thing to see here move along move along he added our focus on diversity and inclusion is unwavering and we are holding firm on our expectations prioritizing accountability and continuing to focus on this work so then why did they fire an entire dei team that seems a little bit excessive for an organization hell bent on bringing dei to the table would you fire your dei team if you wanted to push dei i don't know depends is it cheaper to hire outside forces is it cheaper to hire consultants now or do you even need an internal dei team when it is very apparent that multiple organizations and gaming studios are taking a hold of DEI and trying to wield it like a sword. This commitment was made evident when the company rolled out its Gaming for Everyone product inclusion framework earlier this year. And that is an important thing to use as a side note because you have people internally saying Microsoft is screwed in the DEI department, but then you have other people in Microsoft, okay? The same company saying that everything's fine and that they're still moving forward with DEI. So is there a conflict of interest? Are there people who don't have all of the information yet and they're just saying whatever they think is what's happening? Seems like not everybody is in agreement up at Microsoft and we have multiple narratives at play here. But from their own website, mm -hmm. it seems that their narrative is still intact. This is very fascinating. The product inclusion framework is organized by four inclusive growth doorways to create focus and maximize impact. So it's really interesting. What does this mean? Is this really as impactful or as significant as people are suggesting? Possibly, but it doesn't change the fact that. Let me just keep it a buck here, sweetie. It's not. It's none to do with maximization of impact or no impact. It's about maximization of revenue. Okay. 
if they see money coming in like a tsunami they see money coming in like a tsunami and they won't change anything they're just gonna double down on it right now there's they're losing money and they're seeing the loss of revenue and they're like oh shit oh, oh maybe it's a it's because of dei maybe oh, oh my god <gasps> maybe gamers are actually for the first time ever giving like us the real feedback maybe gamers are not gonna eat crap up and uh maybe we, we gotta really do uh, the right thing here and maybe we gotta really just make games for the gamers uh, shocker maybe they're finally waking up and this is why they're like okay well you y'all sick us the activists y'all gotta go okay deuces we out here we just need to make games we need the money and that's what it comes down to the bottom line is the dollars there guys follow the money so that's many games have been ruined by these guidelines already and are raising so many red flags for gamers who are paying attention to the development of these games that many people are not really sure if they can take this as a win i think more than anything people want microsoft and sony to drop the deibs but it seems that Absolutely. when these things come up yeah. they turn out later to be not as big as they could be so is this the actual internal dei team like the entire department or is this just a temporary thing until they develop a whole new dei department or hire externally so that's the question that's rolling around in my head right now xbox is head of gaming for everyone in sustainability katie joe wright explained the purpose of the framework in an interview with games industry if you don't intentionally include you will unintentionally exclude that is how we are as human beings there is no shame in that if you want to include you have to be intentional about that and that is said right here at the top of their inclusion guidelines page if we don't intentionally include we unintentionally exclude that's at the very top that's their guideline framework and that's what's mentioned here so what in the heck is going on up at microsoft it goes down here to talk about some of those frameworks are you reinforcing any negative gender stereotypes unnecessarily introducing gender and gender barriers creating playable female characters that are equal in skill and ability to their male peers you know it, it's insane we've already seen some of that in the development of these games and that's why it is so odd that they're guys, now eliminated guys let me show you this okay what did she say equally as stunning brave and strong as the female characters yeah you think that this is gonna take over a man like she i, I guess like she can jump and fart and the man would definitely die Bruh. right like if she jumps on a man's mouth or on the face right the man is probably gonna die i i, I mean yeah absolutely but but like do you guys really think that a, a, a chick like this because yeah they, they really went crazy with concord right like you you got like <laughs> you let me actually put my face cam on the other side yeah now you see right like they really did do that guys this is not a meme this this is a meme okay because they were crying about stellar blade the wokies were mad about stellar blade so uh, the internet the, the internet do what the internet do right they memeified the, the chick, they uglified the chick, and they actually gave her 20 tons of testosterone, 20 tons of McDonald's, right? And all that, right? This right here is not a meme! Oh, shit. This is a real character they put in the video game. Now, let's be honest, okay? Do you really think that a chick like that can uh, beat up a man? <laughs> I, I, I minus uh, her jumping on a man face and farting, of course, at that point, he will be sent to heaven, okay? Let's be real. But minus that, right? Like... Let, let's be real, right? Like, come on now, man. What are we talking, An bro? entire department committed to this stuff, committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now, of course, they point out some of the amazing things that Microsoft employees have said about gamers recently. This isn't even that long ago. Kelly Lombardi, for example, when she said, raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games, raise his hand. No hate to white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. Some of the crazy things that Microsoft has said are just burned into people's brains. This is not exactly something that you forget. But how can you yeah. forget it when they're constantly throwing it in your faces all the time? That's yeah, Halo Pride Month for everybody. <laughs> and, and she also did say Say it crazy right like that actually came from one of the uh the higher up at xbox right like that kelly chick right raise your hand if you're uh, if you're not a white man right like just insane insanity bro like who does that who does that bro like y'all sick of said that it's all about like a dei including everybody right but y'all sick are actively excluding y'all sick are trying to divide us all bro like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, just crazy stuff, bruh. That's why we get posts like these from Halo, with rainbow flags covering Spartan armor. That's what Halo is these days. Which is hilarious, I might add, because I can't even find matches in Halo Infinite right now. Not many people are playing it, which is a shame, yeah. because I particularly enjoy the gameplay in Halo Infinite. I play with Wait my friends it? mostly. I don't really play by myself unless they're there with me. But despite the amazing all-time peak it had at 256k, now it is only at 2300, and it has been a steady number for quite some time. If you go back about three months, yeah, it's been on a slow <laughs> decline, even six months. It has not even changed that much. But at least Halo Infinite had a strong start, as opposed to another game that we're going to be talking about called Concord, which if damn son where'd you find this man that is crazy bro like holy crap like what is going on in gaming man i i feel it brothers i feel it like oh my god 29 people have been playing an hour ago bro 29 people 
the all-time peak. Uh, yeah, let me actually put it like right here. The the all-time peak. I'm at 372, man. Like, <laughs> you know, like, what the hell is going on? I, I, my faith in humanity, my faith in gamers is rising up, right? Because right now gamers are saying no to this bull squash and that's good guys that that is definitely good wait for this there if you have played the beta this weekend you probably fell asleep like i did because it's one of the most boring first person shooters i have seen and that is saying a lot since its competition is destiny 2 and overwatch 2 this is probably an example of what microsoft is seeing on their end when they look at their yeah. numbers for dei video games that they have spent so much money trying to push out to customers it's not very yeah. profitable people really just aren't like think about it right starfield right starfield was dei infected absolutely right the game uh, had a lot of hype and yep in the very beginning a lot of people were defending it myself uh, i was also uh, saying that like we need to wait a little bit before seeing the game and all that and once you saw the game of course uh, like we all know where that game is uh people are not playing that game that much either the numbers are down for starfield redfall like yeah like we, we don't even gotta talk about it redfall was uh, collectively hated as well right uh and, and yeah a lot of people are calling out microsoft for this and microsoft is losing a lot of money in the xbox division microsoft as a whole making a ton of money but xbox their xbox division not making a ton of money right they bought activision and because of activision that that's the only company that is making them the revenue right now but other companies they got like yeah they're not generating the the the, the type the, the type of money they want oh they are far behind that right so changes need to be made and i guess that's the, the route they're going and of course that uh, they're seeing like what's happening at playstation as well right playstation generally doing good but of course like when playstation is gonna do this crap and if games like that are not gonna do well on playstation i mean that's a clear sign to playstation and also to playstation competitor uh, xbox and everybody around like hey this is not what gamers want and of course like games like suicide squad right uh, other projects like saints saints row saints woke right get woke go broke right they had to ultimately shut down their entire studio could you imagine being that stupid right like they let sweet baby inc infect them and gamers were like hey bro like we just want we just want you to make saints row the way you made the 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 first couple of saints row game right like holy crap like be excited that you're making another game right like this game is gonna carry us till gta 6 game couldn't even carry us till the gta 6 teaser ladies and gentlemen and they ultimately had to shut down their entire studio because they they actually had the activists involved on their project they took the advice from the activists rather than their target audience the gamers right so, I mean, go figure, go figure interested in this. I think an LGBTQ plus game, a DEI woke game like Concord, which shamelessly admits that that's exactly what it is, and even tries to show you visually that that's what it's all about, is far too niche of a video game to be effective in this industry, and the fact that it's live service and doing so poorly in the beta does not spell success for it in its near future. If you're making a live service game, you probably want a lot of players to play it. That's why when you have Suicide Squad killed the Justice League having only a couple of hundred players every once in a while, you really cannot sustain that for more than a small period of time because you're mm. dumping way too much money into something that you're not getting back from, which is a real bummer for live service games. Overwatch 2 has already gone down the woke route. Destiny 2, I never really truly enjoyed but people have dumped tons and tons of money into that game and this is the game that spawned from that and it's really sad because i played the beta and it's really just not that fun uh some of the characters move really slow the combat the gunplay is all right but uh, I, I mean like if you have characters like that <laughs> of course they're gonna move slow man they gotta make it realistically so yeah but i but i did not play the game let me know if you guys have played concord yet or not but <laughs> but uh I, I feel like that all the characters in the game probably are moving slow though so but it really does not stand out in an interesting way as opposed to other games. Not to mention that the story itself and the cutscene that accompanies it is really poorly written. A lot of the characters seem like they're Guardians of the Galaxy ripoffs, including Starchild, who looks exactly like Drax, but just like a red and blue Dr. Seuss version of Drax. Mm, and it's yeah. really uninspired, unoriginal. It, it, it plays all right, but that's really it. And that's apart from all of the DEI woke stuff that are in the game. This is far too niche of a game to be popular, but it's being presented by Sony as a... I gotta show you this, like I, I marked this timestamp. Okay, yeah, this is the one I believe, right? But Marvel type audience, is there not? Here's some of the footage. I just want to show you guys what this game is about. Crazy, since people bro. don't know what Concord is. Concord is an intentionally woke game. All of the characters have pronouns in their bio. I saw it myself the other day when I was checking out the gameplay, but you can see in this photo from Grums that was provided from another user, it says right there that they have he, him as pronouns, Breacher, they, them, she, her, undecided as a tactician named Lark. Um, I'm pretty sure this top left one is the robots. Anger, he's a trash dispenser, and he's a he, him. I guess robots can have pronouns. And um, while the Bruh. gameplay is not terrible, it's it's just not something to get excited for. There's nothing that really stands Bruh. out that has changed from Team Fortress 2 or Overwatch 2 or anything like that. It all just seems like it's the same crap and it's by Sony this time. Only this time around, they're spending crap tons of money on the graphics of this game and the way that the characters are animated. They've dedicated, I think, each week that this game is released to a new cutscene. So every week they're gonna have a new fully animated- I, I don't understand PlayStation on this one, Brad. Like, because listen here, like the fact is Sony is a smaller company than Microsoft, right? 
for example, if Xbox goes full walk, they're they're gonna lose their Xbox division and they're gonna lose like some form of revenue, which of course nobody would want that. Uh, Microsoft surely don't want to lose that revenue, but let's be real, right? They still Microsoft can still afford to lose. Uh, like worst case scenario right like if xbox were to go fully woke they uh, microsoft can afford to lose that right but they're still making an because of this news it seems like that they're still making an effort to get rid of the woke stuff which is good i'll i'll give them a w hopefully <laughs> we're not hopefully next week we uh, we're not gonna find out that they're doubling down on the di crap but looks like that they're making an effort sony on the other hand playstation is their biggest revenue generator the movies and playstation right PlayStation makes them a ton of money and PlayStation generally speaking is light years ahead in terms of the sales and all the games that they have in comparison to Xbox. I'm, I'm just keeping it real with you guys, guys. It's not even about me being Sony Pony or Xbox and you're let, let's keep it real. Okay, like we're not like we're way past the fanboy ish. Okay, uh, fanboys talk memes jokes perfectly fine with me and we're gonna keep on doing the fanboys content absolutely okay but this is one of those things where now nah, it's not even about the fanboy stuff okay playstation is ahead and, and no and seeing them do crap like this this is just insane insanity right because yeah like y'all sick is gonna lose way more than xbox though or uh, microsoft though because y'all y'all are not in the position of losing that much money man y'all are what like 100 plus billion dollars company a lot of money don't get me wrong man can a brother get two pennies but 100 plus billion versus 3 trillion, right? You need uh, 1,000 billion to make a trillion, right? So Sony is a tiny company in front of Microsoft, bro. Facts are facts, man. Facts don't care about feelings, though, so. Animated, fully motion captured cutscene, just dumping crap tons of money into a live service game that not enough people have played during the beta. It's just not looking good for this game in the long run. You don't have to just take my word for it, of course. The mainstream media is also following this story, even though they probably wish they didn't have to. Concord is Sony's expertly crafted big bet. It's just a few years late. That's from the Washington Post. They don't think Crazy. that this game's timing is proper either. They don't think that it's going to succeed. Even if you put aside all of the DEI and woke nonsense in this game, you can take a look at the gameplay, take a look at how many people are playing it. It's just not looking good. But let's take yeah, it, it is pretty mid though. It, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's not like anything great either right but and plus the woke stuff uh and they're years late on that yeah bro it's uh set for a disaster guys i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not ubisoft getting cancelled by everybody i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video or not because uh, there's some new stuff that came out everybody's flaming them left and right check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left that video is for my 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 young kings out there man stay away from the pom-pom guys but check out both of these videos and i'll see you see you right there